Welcome to Royal Kiwi Fishing. This week, Steve and I back out in the little FC. What we're going to be doing today is targeting some carrots just up in the harbour. We're hoping we'll stay away from the snapper today. And yep, here's our target species. There you go. Nice little gurnard. So that's pretty much what we'll be targeting today. It's the gurnard. And uh, yeah, we're hoping the snapper will stay away. We've got a burley going, so it's pretty hard um, to stay away from snapper, especially when the burley's going. But hopefully today we get onto the carrots. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Picked up again. Doesn't feel like a gurnard this time. Maybe a snapper. Trying to stay away from them, but um, like I was saying, it's pretty hard when you've got a burly going. And yep, just a little snapper, which isn't our target species really today. There you go, he's way takeable. He's probably about 37, 36, 37 centimeters, but we'll um, probably let him go. Not really our target today. We're just in that month where it sort of changes from snapper to gurnard in the harbour here. And you'll start picking up probably two or three gurnard and then a snapper. Sometimes when they, um, once a snapper catches wind of your burley, they just come in and take over and they get the bait before the gurnard. But that's not happening, so I think we're just on that turn of when the snapper is starting to thin out on the harbour and the gurnard is starting to pile in a bit more. Hooked up again. Feels a little bit more like a gurnard, hopefully. See it just straight up and down. Sort of just pumps away, goes around a little bit of a circle. Maybe a foul hooked snapper. Yep. Which it is. He was just sitting on the bait, felt like a gurnard. I was struck. Foul hooked him. Feels like another little gurnard. And what do you know? It's Mr. Goonie. There you go. Yep, yeah, hooked up. This one feels like a bit of a snapper. Got slack tied at the moment. Or well, it's just sort of turning. Fish have gone off the bite. What normally happens, that incoming tide, the snapper turn up. There's a little bit better fish. So we'll take him home, he swallowed it. But yeah, what normally happens is the tide starts coming in, snapper follow got a bank up behind us and what normally happens is the gurney come off the bank into this sort of hole and then the tide turns and they head back up and the snapper sort of come in as well but we'll take a few snapper home as well even though they're not the target species 
Stevo's hooked up. Looks like a snapper. It's pulling a bit of string, so I wouldn't think it's a uh, gurnard, but yep, definitely a snapper. So yeah, those gurnard have pretty much moved off. That tied, I think. Oh, yep. Ooh, something just grabbed my line. But yeah, got a few gurnard in the bin there, probably about three or four. Hoping for a few more. We might have to do a shift. Just chug in the bin. Um, we'll probably just bin a few snapper as well take home but we'll keep trying for some more gurnard. Snapper are definitely turning up that incoming tide. What we might do is go go move into the shallows. Got a spot um, in about sort of two to three meters. Goes up into a sort of like a creek. Sometimes a gurnard mooch in there so we'll probably head over there have a go. Yeah hooked up. There's like another snapper. It's the trouble once they turn up, they can turn up in numbers. Today we were trying to target some gurnard. Got a few in the bin, but not as much as we'd like. Snap. There's not as much snapper here as we normally get as well. I think what's happening is it's just in that transition where the snapper's thinning out and then the gurnard come in and take over. But um, yeah, I think we'll do a bit of a shift. Stevo's hooked up. Looks like another snapper. And they'll just keep turning up a little bit more and more. And they'll just take over the area. So we'll do a bit of a shift. Go and try a spot and closer around that two, two meters, three meters. And hope that we uh, get a few more gurnard. Done a bit of a shift getting too much snapper where we were. We've come into that little spot I was telling you about. Got a creek running up here. And there should be gurnard mooching in around here and I think that's what I've got. Uh, yes it is. There you go. Little bit of a shift. Get away from those pesky snapper. And our first bait is a gurnard. Our burley's sort of running out as well, so we do like burley to even bring around the gurnard. But um, that might sort of get rid of the pesky snappers and hopefully there's a few of these just mooching in around this little channel in here goes up a creek yeah we haven't done too badly we've got about five or six gurnard in the bin so even though the uh, snapper came in and interrupted us hasn't gone too bad hooked up again it's the big car white much given up on the old uh, gurnard. It's going to pick up a few snapper. Got a nice little spot here. Water comes down and comes into like a little eddy. Comes up. 
and around and we're just sitting in that little eddy so food's going past and stirring around here. If we pick up a few um, decent sized snapper, just getting the usual. Sort of that 40, 45 centimetres, which isn't a bad fish. Easy to fill it, nice to eat. There you go. It's a nice little fish. So, yeah, we'll get a few of these to take home. And then we'll call it a day. Oh, gone. Uh, I'll get this one, step. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the other one's gonna go, Stevo. It's going. It's getting crazy again. And the snapper, once they turn up, man, can turn up in numbers. Just a little fella. And saying that, he's probably about 35, 36, but we'll let him go. Steve O can catch his own. But I grab this one, eh? I think there's one on here. Nah. <laughs> up again. Snapper have definitely turned up. Don't think we'll be getting any more gurnard. We have caught them in this spot before. But uh, not when there's so much snapper turning up. A lot nicer fish. Better fish. Took a big chunk of carwai. Oh, beautiful. Steve O's hooked up. It's on to a little bit better fish, he reckons. Job. Hooked up again. Woo. It's just going crazy. It's not a bad fish. So, yeah, we've dropped back to uh, the snappers. Some nice fish here in that little gut. There you go. A little bit nicer fish. If we're catching snapper in amongst our gurnard, this is what you want to catch. Good size. Just using big chunks of carwai. Yeah. Hooked up. Another snapper. <laughs> Another good snapper. Zip. He was happy down when he was just at the bottom there. Thought he was running free. Swallow job. Oh. 
hooked up. Another nice fish. Another beautiful harbour snapper. Steve out. Steve-O's hooked up, looks like a little bit nicer snapper. Oh yeah, it's a little bit better fish, nice snapper, a big chunk of kawai on. Pretty much going to call it a day. Some nice snapper still here in the harbour, that's for sure. They'll start moving out, the smaller stuff, and the better fish will turn up. That's a nice fish. There you go, it's not a bad fish, nice fish, nice harbour fish, let him go. Yeah, hooked up again, another snapper, last one for the bin, probably call it a day, it's been an awesome day. Just had a bit of a catch up fish with Steve-O. Tried for some gurnard this morning, got onto the gurnard. That was the plan. And then uh, the snapper came in and took over. So we uh, did a couple of shifts. And we've moved to a spot where we um, catch some nice snapper, which we've been doing. And we'll pretty much call it a day. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Till next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with real Kiwi fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.